The Anambra State Commissioner for Culture, Entertainment and Tourism, Don Onyenji, has called on media practitioners and entertainers to be objective with issues concerning the state, cautioning that the image projected would either promote or destroy our dear state. It's important for us and the most of our people for across the world and indeed those residing in Nigeria and the Anambra State to know the activities of the government of Anambra State, the solution governed by our own dear, renowned, capacity governor, Professor Church Woman, Sugu de Silva, and um, here in the Ministry of Culture, Entertainment, and Tourism, we are doing a lot of things to show that. Um, we get Ndiyalamra to buy into the vision of this government. Uh, one thing I'll talk about first is in the area of tourism. Uh, our governor has thought that China was countries of the world, um, consulting for them, assisting government do that development uh, activities carry them on. And uh, in, uh, in Nigeria, our governor has blown them up. Uh, the governor of the central bank did very well consolidating banks. And uh, so much that today, most Nigerians are no more afraid of, their, of losing their money in any bank. And that has continued. And he has consulted uh, for the federal governments, not just one. And uh, even currently, the federal government is still seeking his advice. On managing the so we are happy and blessed to have Professor Charles Chubumasunido as the governor of Ananda State. It's a great thing for the Ananda, and uh, we are very happy. And the Ananda did him very well, and he has taken on very, very well. Uh, as of today, within one year and three months, uh, this government has, is doing 310 kilometers of roads. 310 kilometers of roads, so it's a record breaker. And all of them are all going simultaneously. And so, when we talk about tourism, it's about roads. So, he has attacked and is attacking roads to ensure that movement is very smooth. And uh, these roads cut across all local government areas in Anambra State. So, to this extent, we are happy that tourism is being promoted. In Oka capital territory here, yeah, and those who are living in Oka will bear witness that the hottest environment, which is the club road, um, and of course Oka inner cities are being tired. They are there, and um, from um, Amasi going to Ndukwen to Awa to Fuma is excellently being handled and got a work as well as the assembly from Amazi also to our family, the same thing. So every other part of Anambra, in non nature, the same thing. So um, this is promoting tourism. So um, um, in other areas, health, education, uh, things are happening. While commending Governor Charles Chuku Masoludo for driving with full force, the agenda of a peaceful, livable, and a prosperous homeland. He disclosed that the Ministry of Culture, Entertainment, and Tourism, Anambra State, is currently building a massive, modern recreational park at the heart of the state's capital. So, for us, in the Ministry of uh, Culture, Entertainment, and Tourism, a lot is happening. Currently, uh, we are developing the solution for the city, at the heart of Oka here, um, beside the city stadium, there's going to be marvelous. As I'm talking to you, contract has been approved and given by the state executive council for work to begin. And it has uh, a timeline that within one year, something will be there for the member to go and enjoy. And um, that uh, social source city is going to house a lot of um, uh, activities. Many 
Anambra uh, indigenes um, may not know, especially the diasporas and those who live and even here, that we don't have um, a country club for the first time, a country club for this state. So wherever you're coming from, you'd be rest assured that you have a place to relax, call your friends over, you know, stand here and there, drinks, with the environment, leisure, and chat about business and development, virtual uh, relativism. So these are issues. And uh, there's going to be uh, a mini golf course there. And I know uh, people are very great in terms of uh, enjoying golf uh, as a game. Uh, table tennis, lawn tennis. We're also going to have a uh, cinema there uh, to showcase our film. Of course, we know that uh, Nollywood uh, formation. You can't talk about it without coming about India and Ambra at the core of it. And so we want to return Anambra to its position. And uh, uh, I won't say what's going to happen very soon, but uh, when you hear it, you know that we have great plans to get our guys in the Nollywood to come and do more in Anambra State. And so um, a lot of things are going on. Uh, we've had um, the first meet and greet uh, for all Anambra based entertainers, including dancers, musicians, comedians, and uh, all those who are performing in the creative industry. By the time we and get all of these guys and support them, boost them, and of course open up the entire space, our people will begin to appreciate what we want to do. So I would like to encourage and call all from Indian Umbra in the movie and entertainment industry to come home. We will facilitate what you are doing. I'm a part of the industry, and therefore we know what's in there. So don't hesitate to come back to Anambra State and do your films and uh, shows. Uh, the conference center, International Conference Center is there. We have had a lot of activities there. Very successful activities. And the place is marvelous. Our airport is also working. So Anambra is getting there. With the rules, travel tourism will be a beautiful experience in Anambra State. So um, I expect the cooperation of our guys. The Honorable Commissioner Don Onyenji, during a press briefing held at his office, hinted on the ongoing plan to modernize the already existing tourist site in Anambra State. And I would like to say I appeal also that it is not fair for our people, especially those in the entertainment industry, to go on social media to celebrate whatever knowledge, opinion they have about government. Whatever we want to talk about, your media is there. And these media um, are really moving with their principles. And give you an answer. Now, what happened in the knowledge of recently? Every broadcaster and OAP in a registered radio television station should we not go to the social media and direct his government? Because you have an opportunity already, your channel is there, your platform is there. Use it. If you see anywhere that's that, talk about it. Go and interview the relevant officers on government. And they'll answer you and take responsibility. And uh, re if necessary. You know, that's the way to go. It, it, it is not fair to go on social media and blast your own government, who is not even chasing you. Development is all about everybody. And no nobody in government is everywhere. It's about the people. So if you leave your primary station where you should explore, tell people what it is. I go to the social media to scare people from coming into your state to invest and you talk against your governor. When a governor is the chief security officer 
He knows what's happening and is attacking and everybody knows that a lot of work is going on in that area and people are testifying and you know that things are not the way this government bet it. What you can do is to point out areas of concern and government will operate it into the activities and that's the best. So I would like our people to be feel that they are part of the new and state. It's simply, I did 35 years in broadcasting. Today, our talking about is about um, 43 years old. So, so and we know how we conducted ourselves. So, please, everybody in the entertainment industry, please be part of the governance of the state. Do not go to the social media and castigate your state. I'll give you an example. If you go out and say, uh, girls, lady, I remember ladies, I'm not doing it well, I'm not behaving well, and all of that. And we promote girls from another city that they are excellent, they are doing well, and all of that. You're running down your sisters. You're running down your sisters. Others are laughing at you and your state. And you think you're doing well. You're not doing well. Go and promote the Alhambra girls. Go and promote the Alhambra guys. Go and promote what is happening here. Governor Charles Soludo employed 5,000 teachers and is employing more very soon. The government has also employed over 300 health personnel. Let's talk about this. The one inch uh, two skill is going on continuously. Yeah, to see how we can incorporate these things. As a matter of fact, my ministry will very soon begin the training of our young people, young and old, in the film industry. In all garments of the film industry, from concept to scripting to production to cost, mere work to everything post production, adjust them it. Because this is the creative industry. Why we're doing it is to also grow the industry to accommodate all of us. So that is the kind of thing you, those who are good now that have excelled in these areas, we want you to come back and partner with government. That's what it should be. And we're ready. Our doors are open to discuss with you. And I am part of the industry. I've been a broadcaster, a master of ceremony, this jockey in the Nollywood. I mean, we are all in this. Because if I ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、
Onye ye ku opu nya agodo nya bu ese wo. Don 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 don. Ata wa. Aka mi bi ko. Nzo igbo mo no ida da kanna. E me se ko ba wo kwata wo ko ba mai mai. Ka wo e we na ka ni. So our diaspora we are insisting and we are feeding that you come in and invest. A lot of these states are coming into an amber state now. A lot of eight states. Ask question, call anybody. There are lots of eight states that are going on in Anambra. And some diasporans from outside and inside Nigeria are coming in. So if you waste time, others will take it. And by the time they want to invest, the prices are up. So as a government, we are pleading and supporting our governor, inviting our diasporans to come and invest in Anambra State. The right hand is now. And as our governor will say in the solution governor, this government is a government with an agenda. And this agenda offers both fatigue and horizontal interests. Every well-meaning Onyanambra should promote the state via the media, thereby attracting tourists and investors for the general betterment of our dear homeland.